18, Coach Aaron here taking you through your Thursday, the 25th of November's workout. All right, so first of all, we're gonna start off with our warm-up. We're gonna go through two rounds of five sumo squats. Okay, so putting that to that wider start. Down to our squat, making sure we're not tipping forward. All right, so making sure that we're still keeping it upright throughout that movement, not rolling on our toes. Then we're gonna to move to just standing air squats. So what your normal position would be for air squats. All right, down to that squat, standing nice and tall. Then we're going to move on to some closer stance squats. Okay, so directly under the hip sort of thing. Down to that squat, standing up, and then going into cycle squats. So bring those feet really close. Okay, and then five reps of that as well. Okay, so making sure that we're able to move through those squats without rolling up onto our tippy toes and falling forward or anything like that, or letting our chest cave in and over. It's keeping everything nice and upright. After we've done the two rounds of the squatting stuff, then we're going to move on to two rounds of five plate grounds overhead. Okay, so what that will look like holding my plate down to the floor, up and overhead, and four. All right, for five reps. Then we're going to go into five plate presses each side. Okay, so press it through, then into a plate overhead squat. Okay, so this is going to be dependent on your mobility. So we're still going to do an overhead squat, but just down to into a position and it's going to lay and keep your feet flat on the floor. Okay, so south, here, and then standing up. Okay, so if you can over each of the five reps over the two rounds, so you can get a little bit lower each time. Two rounds through that. Then we're going to move on to our strength piece today. So what we're going to be looking at for the barbell side. We have six sets of four, uh, four heavy front squats. Okay, this is going to be from the floor. All right, so cleaning it up from the floor and then down into the front squats and then stand down. Okay, so we've got four reps of that. After that, we're going to go into some deficit deadlifts. Okay, so with um, the weight that we've used for our front squats. Okay, so from here, I'll have a plate on the floor for my deficit, then the weight that I've just front squatted, keep me nice and tight, standing up, going through those deficit deadlift reps, which is 12. Okay, so we're gonna go through six sets of those two movements back to back. Okay, if we're doing the kettlebell dumbbell vision, what we're gonna be doing is gonna be using kettlebell for my dumbbell. We're gonna go through six goblet squats, all right, so standing up nice and tall, each rep, make sure the knees aren't keeping it. All right, then directly after doing five of those, you're gonna go immediately into six goblet curtsy lunges. Okay, so with the lunges, you're gonna go two seconds hip on the way down. That's what they will look like. From here, I'm gonna lunge back. One, two, standing up, back, one, two, through those next six reps. Okay, after that, we're gonna go into six one-arm RDLs. Each side, okay, so with my kettlebell through, keeping everything hinging at the hips, pushing my hips back as I hinge forward, down, standing back up, six each side, okay? If we're on the no equipment uh, list there, we've got six sets again, we've got ten frog jumps, each of these are for height, okay, so I'll try and jump as high as I can up, and then getting nice and tall through that jump, extending and being as explosive as possible. All right, then we're going to a 20 death march steps with an object. Okay, so this can be anything that's a little bit weighted. You can fill up a bag with some books, get a little bit of weight there. All right, then with that, you're going to go through 20 death march steps. So stepping not too far, okay, through there, standing up, switching. You can also do these as stepping throughs. So one, step through, two, okay, as walking movement as well. Okay, then we're going to go to four to six windmills each side. Okay, so we're going to drill down, kettlebells up, or if you want to use any sort of weighted objects. Okay, then from here, down, getting a bit of a rotation going through the shoulder. All right, four to six each side of that. Cool, so that's your strength piece done. Then we're going to go into our conditioning. So today's piece is a 12 minute AMRAP. Okay, so first of all, we're starting off with 50 burpee buy-in. Okay, so we're looking for his chest to the ground, fully laying on the floor, back up, Fully extended, tucking up our head with a bit of air under our feet. Okay, so down, hit the deck, up, fully extended through that burpee. None of the old hunched over ones. Okay, if we have any injuries, it's going to stop us being able to do that. We can just do up downs. Okay, so we can go down to the floor, up, and then stand without the big jump. Okay, we can even step up and down out of these burpees as well. 
after we've done that five, uh, 50, sorry, 50 burpee ride, whatever time is left is now the AMRAP. Okay, so what you'll be doing, if you've got a barbell, we've got 20 uh, barbell shoulders overhead. Okay, so this could be a push press, okay, or a jerk. All right, we've got 20 of those. Okay, if we're doing kettlebell or dumbbell, same thing, full shoulder. All right, if you have two dumbbells or two kettlebells the same way, you can do it with double, it's fine. All right, if we are on the no, uh, the no weight and stuff, so the body weight stuff, no equipment, uh, we're gonna do 20 handstand push-ups if you don't have access to a wall or you can't do handstand push-ups, 20 normal press-ups is the next option. Then after that, we're going into a 200 meter run. If you cannot run it, you've got a machine, 15 and 12 calories. Okay, so 15 for the guys, 12 calories for the ladies. All right, so one of those two options. Cool, so moving through those two movements for the remaining time. So if I have like eight minutes left, took me four minutes to do my burpees, then I'm just going shoulders over here and run, switching between those two for the eight minutes that I have left. Cool, that's your workout for tomorrow, Thursday team. All right, have a good one, stay safe, see you soon.